right guys this is video number three i did not change my shirt so i was like you know what this is the energy y'all gonna get from me today if you are new here please hit the subscribe button if you're tuning in for the first time i mean hit the subscribe button and the bell if you're returning thank you so much for tuning in and you can also hit the bell too because you already know i'm gonna keep saying that love you all right guys so finally i'm giving you an update on this wig i know my curly wig has taken over I threw this to the side. I worked for a month and I was like, curly wig me up. Because I did not know that curly wig would take my life and my edges and run away like that. But I put her back on. I said, you know what? Let me go straight. Let me put a little bit of volume in my life. A little grown and you know. So this is my original wig. The reason I even bought those wigs. This is by Flower Season as well. This is the 13 by 6 Brazilian Remy pre-plucked short bob lace front human hair wig with baby hairs. And it's 130% density with bleach knots. Just like my curly wig, it says bleach knots, but the knots are not bleached. But also, when you do try to bleach the knots, the lace, like I said, is kind of thin. Not in a sense that it would rip. This is just like the curly wig. Um, not in the sense that it would rip, but it does not, like I mean, it does not take bleach well. I put that bleach on there and two seconds later the roots were like trying to turn blonde on me and I was like pump the pump the bricks what are you doing relax on the beach so I had to wash it out so I would definitely recommend with this wig and this unit that you don't even try to bleach just go ahead and get your makeup your foundation and just pat it in with a brush and then wear a wig cap and you will be good to go because I honestly didn't leave it in long enough to even bleach one knot so it's technically not even bleached much not really so I actually got this wig in 12 inches and my whole goal was to do a blunt bob with it. I wanted to wear it in the middle part. I'm going to include all the pictures that I took wearing it as far as for my birthday because I wore it in April, the whole month of April. Um, that wig, this wig is just, just like the curly wig, I love this unit. Like if you want to switch it up on them, if you want to go curly to straight and you want to do something short, I would really, really recommend this. It came at a nice and decent length. My cousin actually bought it. Shout out to you, Ashers. Love you, girl. She actually bought this wig and she wore it to my niece's christening and she looked so bomb, guys. I was just like, you watch my videos? <laughs> I'm gonna get emotional. But she actually had hers and it wasn't cut. So I wish I would have taken a picture of it. But the 12 inches hit me, I want to say right here. It had like a little bump at the end. It wasn't necessarily a bob. It was even all the way around. But it wasn't just like, it wasn't asymmetrical or anything like that. Nice and even. It honestly looked like my permed hair. Like it looked that good. So what I ended up doing is I had my sister use a razor, an electric razor to make it a just straight across blunt bob and what she did at first was she used scissors and it didn't change the look at all so she had cut some off with scissors and then went with the razor which I should have just went with the razor first but my dad was sleeping and I was excited and I was like can you just not use this razor and just use the scissors mistake on my part so yeah we went back in with the razor and cut it shorter so you can kind of see it's like blunt right here kind of so it's actually a little bit shorter than I wanted it in the back, which it's not too short. Sorry for turning away from the camera. It's not too short. I love the length, but for the wig itself, because of the length of the hair in the back, since it was already short, now it's like kind of short to the point where it gets tangled easily. It just tangles by itself, but it's not because of the hair quality. Hair quality is perfect. Even when I was wearing it, before I cut it, I was wearing it for like a good week or two before I, my sister had cut it for my birthday and I had no tangles no issues at all but of course because it's this short now you do get some tangles just because it's always hitting the back of my neck and wind and you know natural elements so this is where we're at now in the back I hope this doesn't look frazzled this hair blow dries beautifully like you don't have to if you just wet it and blow dry it, it's already like bone straight from a blow dry then when you hit it with a flat iron you're really talking some money right now like this hair is beautiful straight it looks so good in the middle part the parting once again i plucked nothing plucked nothing i just snipped my baby hairs and went about my business and this is the energy that it gave me um, parting is nice it goes all the way back like I said that 13 by 6 is so important and I just that parting space is just what you need honestly in a wig and a frontal that's the kind of parting energy I want for the rest of my days so it goes back pretty far I switched it to a side part switch it to a middle part I have no issues it straightens like a gem 
I love it. I really do truly love this hair. Um, it curls beautifully, holds a curl. It even it holds a wand curl even better. But I've noticed that wand curls just hold better in hair period than flat iron curls do. So wand curls look really good with this. That's how it worked for my birthday. And then I did some flat iron curls today just to give me some some volume in this area. So yeah, I love the blunt cut. It came out nice. The hair is amazing. I want to order another one in the 12 inch and cut it blunt again, but not as short as this. And then I'll just have like short hair and then well I have short hair and then I'll have short short hair like a shorter bob. You can never have too many options. So yeah overall I really really love this wig. There's really no reason to drag this review out. I hope this helped you out guys. If you have any questions about how I cut it, what I use, how long I've been wearing it, what it's like, any question just put it down in the description bar below and I will be sure to answer it for you. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.